Hey guys, uh, I am here knitting a sort of swatch for a baby blanket because I want to. I why choose between filming a video and knitting if you can do both. Today I'm here to talk to you uh, about exercise, specifically about a particular program that I use, but also just sort of generally about like my exercise journey in the past couple of months. So, um, if you have been following me for a while, you know that my New Year's resolution uh, was to get fit, which whatever that means. Um, I wasn't trying to lose weight. In fact, we were trying to get pregnant and I found out a week into the new year that we are expecting. So obviously my goal is not to lose weight and it never has been. I'm one of those annoying people that just has never struggled with weight. Um, but as like, okay, so I used to Irish dance. I mentioned this in my March plan with me, I think. Um, and that was like, you know, I would go to class once a week and we would practice. We were supposed to practice like every day, but that didn't happen. Um, and we'd compete and stuff. And so I was in pretty decent shape because we were doing cardio, you know, jumping around. If you've ever seen Irish step dancing, you know, it's pretty intense. So I was in decent shape as far as like stamina and eh, flexibility. At least I was stretching. Um, I've never had flexible hamstrings. That's always been one of my things, but, um, so that was the fittest I've ever been was when I was, you know, a child up through high school, I kept taking the lessons, um, though we stopped, we stopped competing when I was in high school, but I went to college and as you do, you just, you know, I, I never learned how to use gym equipment or anything, you know, and I was never motivated to like go out and do exercise for its own sake. I enjoyed the dancing because I enjoyed the movement of it. I enjoyed the way it looked and felt and I enjoyed the friends that I had that did it with me. Um, but like I didn't really get those like workout endorphins really or that wasn't the reason I was doing it. So um, like I, I never really thought like oh yeah I should pick up a different exercise routine. I did think I would be more fit if I kept dancing, but it was and it didn't fit into my class schedule, and so it just didn't happen. Um, and so I fell out of shape. And now, whenever I do try to dance at like weddings and stuff, um, I'm out of breath almost instantly. <laughs> so it's been ten years since I graduated college now, um, and I really have not exercised since. My husband tried to get me to exercise with him when we were first dating. Um, he had me trying to jog and I hated him for it because it, I was always just of the opinion like exercise hurts. Why would I do that to myself? You know, I get along in life just fine. Meanwhile, I have chronic neck pain and no stamina and you know, that's I guess just something I lived with and thought was normal. Um, and so more recently, well, for about the last year and a half, I guess, um, I turned 30 and almost immediately just started having a couple little extra issues that, you know, just seemed like, hey, hey, Rebecca, from my body, a little messages that like, you should probably take care of yourself now. Things like um, sugar making me feel sick instead of, you know, energized like it does when you're a kid. Um, you know, just needing extra sleep, um, and generally just my you know, back pain has always been a thing, neck pain. Um, and I have been wanting to increase my stamina a little bit, just get a little bit stronger, more fit, um, and for a little while. And so I decided to make that my new year's resolution. Um, but in order to make it something that sticks, and I wrote a blog post all about this, um, I decided to make uh, not one overarching resolution that was a specific thing, but a theme basically of a resolution with specific goals for each month. So for the month of January, I decided I would start really slow. And I knew that the area that I really wanted to focus on was my abdomen because, you know, if I ever do put on a tiny little bit of weight, it goes straight to my belly and it just kind of, I never really, I don't know, I've never had a flat tummy since my pregnancy. And it's not something that like, because I never struggled with my weight, I feel like I kind of avoided a lot of the um, self-image issues that a lot of girls get 
um, those messages growing up. It, I always found it super annoying because instead of you should lose weight, the messages were like, oh, you're so skinny, not you should put on weight, but oh, I wish my body looked like yours. And it was just always a really uncomfortable thing. Like people just need to stop comparing each other's body weights. Anyway, um, but if I had an area where I wanted to, let's say build muscle instead of fat, it was my tummy. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to start really easy. I'm going to do 10 sit-ups every morning. Great. That worked well for a couple weeks, I want to say. Um, one week into January, I found out I was pregnant. I kept doing the sit-ups anyway because I was very early on. I asked the OB at our appointment. She said it was fine to keep doing them. Um, but the problem was that January hit me really hard. Mid-January on-ish. Um, no, you know what? It was the day I found out I was pregnant, the 7th that I finally caught a cold that my daughter had brought home from our New Year's trip. And um, so I was really sick. I think it may have been a flu, not just a cold, because it just, it lingered, it was miserable. Plus on top of it, I was fatigued from all the pregnancy exhaustion. I missed a couple days, but I kept trying to do it again, you know, doing my, my 10 sit-ups. But the problem was not so much like I couldn't take the two minutes out of my day to do that. Um, but that my cough started hurting my ribs to the point where moving my torso was just excruciatingly painful. And I'm like, I'm not going to heal my chest muscles or whatever it was that was hurting me by doing sit-ups. So I needed to stop doing the sit-ups. So I took a break for the last week of January and decided, okay, February, I'll do something else. February, uh... It took me a little while into February to even set my goal because I was so sick and exhausted. But by the time I set the goal, um, it was, let's try walking next. Walking's easy, right? I can walk. Um, and I was working on ways that I could fit walking into my weekly schedule. Um, you know, daylight starting a little bit to come in in the, the evenings or on the weekends. I wanted to take the, um, the baby to the park because she's starting to really enjoy playgrounds. Um, and I'm thinking, well, okay, I'm, I can walk a mile between my house and my in-laws house on Fridays when we go over there for dinner, stuff like that. Um, so my goal was to walk 10 miles during the month of February, total cumulative. Um, I got, I think like four or five in, um, but the problem was that I so saw like three days in a, a row, I walked a mile. And I was like, this is great. This is easy. It only takes me less than half an hour. I enjoy it. I get to exercise the dog. I get out in nature. Let's do this. Uh, then on like day four, I walk half a mile. But even before I get that far, like I, as soon as I start out, I feel this little twinge. And I recognize this twinge from my first pregnancy. Uh, I had some SPD pain with my first pregnancy. And it didn't start until my mid-20 weeks. This was at nine weeks or eight weeks and six days, I think. And I was like, wow, it is really early to be having SPD pain. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I want to exacerbate this. So I did do a little bit more walking. I'm like, I need to take a break, see if maybe just doing it, you know, it was the three days in a row is the issue. So I did do some more walking, but overall, I'm like, this is not going to be my regular exercise. It's not going to work. So I need to pick something else. Earlier on, like in January, um, I was scrolling through my September Bumpers subreddit and somebody on there recommended a website called Mama Strong. It's what she uses and she really loved it and just wanted to share it with, you know, people who didn't know about it and I had never heard of it. Um, and I looked into it and so basically what Mama Strong is, it's, it's an online exercise regimen, right? Um, the things that I like about it are it's very forgiving if you need to take it at your own pace, modify things to fit what works with you. It's incredibly real. Um, it's uh, this woman does the, uh, the exercises every day and her, you know, her kids are in the videos. She's got, you know, a basket of laundry behind her. Just reality happens. Um, and it's just part of life and she embraces that. I really like that mentality. Um, I like that they're all 15 minutes or less, that they don't require any specialized equipment. Um, and that it's really the focus not on 
like explicitly the focus is not on body image but on um, like functionality about you know okay you're a mother that means that your body's been through the meat grinder there's like a pro there's a whole series of videos for pregnancy and then another one for postpartum um, that take things really slow and so I really liked that idea and so I was like maybe maybe I'll save this I'll try it maybe and then I'm uh, when March came around I'm like okay this is what we're gonna do it's five dollars a month I can afford this 15 minutes a day I can afford that so uh, I started it on March 2nd which is Monday so I started on the 2nd of March and uh, I have been doing it every single day ever since one day I was like I really don't feel like doing a full high impact 15 minutes so I just did a stretching video that day and those are options oh I also they have fix me videos that are like um, you know if you have a particular issue like I woke up one morning last week week before with a terrible crick in my neck and so I did some release work in one of those videos and then um, I also did one about the pubic and sciatic pain so that helps um, and gives you just a lot of good pointers and I just it from somebody who has never exercised before and doesn't understand all the lingo, she does a really good job of using good verbal cues to get you to visualize what's happening and to focus on the right things. And so, yeah, I'm not getting paid to say this. I don't get any kickbacks. There's no referral code. I just kind of wanted to tell you about it because it's working for me and I'm enjoying it and I'm having success. And it's worked as a goal for me for March. Um, I'm on my way to checking off every single box on my tracker and I think for April I'm just going to plug along and keep doing the same thing. Um, I think I can already feel myself getting a little bit stronger and um, having a little bit more stamina and really enjoying the feeling of the endorphins in the morning. Um, so that's something I never thought that I would like enjoy exercise, especially exercise that's in the moment it's not fun, it hurts, you know? <laughs> Um, it's not, it's accessible, but it's, it's real. So, um, that's all I wanted to really say in these troubled times. Uh, sorry, that is an inside joke with my family. We're adding in these troubled times to everything we say. Uh, if this video comes up and you're like, what's going on? I'm filming this in March, 2020. Um, so in these troubled times, if people are looking for at home workout videos, there are a lot of places that are offering free workouts online and so obviously I would check those out first if I weren't already doing this and loving it but if you're looking for something that's like Mama Strong if what I'm describing works sounds like something you're interested in um, they're offering free Teen Strong videos that's like a new series it's just for like um, middle and high schoolers so if you wanted to check those out to get kind of a flavor of what it's all about I think that now would be a good time for that and you yeah, know you can you can check it out I don't know I think five bucks a month is worth it for my my health oh the other thing I didn't really touch on but like my goals are not just generally to get more strong but now that I am pregnant um, and I want to have a v-back in September and I've never exercised before I feel like it's really important for me to build up that stamina and that strength and work on my pelvic floor strength and, and just generally be a lot more in control of my body and mindful of my body in ways that are going to help me to achieve that goal. So that is also something that uh, I, I think this is going to be really good for. Hopefully, hopefully that that, uh, that all works out and we don't have another little breech baby, but that's all. That's all. I got a couple rows in. And I hope that you enjoyed my rambling and I will see you in the next video on Thursday. I'm not actually sure which one that is because I haven't been checking lately, but uh, I will see you then. So don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Stay strong. Bye.